What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we had the final review video on Ravel's 1965 Chevy Stepside pickup. And right off the bat, um, <laughs> incredible kit. This kit is wonderful and I had no issues with it whatsoever. So let's go ahead and show you what we did to it and then we'll wrap it up and start a new build. So as you, if you remember, I, am ba I, did, I did base off this truck off of my Ford F100 pickup I had done a while back. So the whole exterior is the same, the same um, body color and wheels and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and show you what's basically the same and what's different between the two. So like I mentioned, the body color, the roof, the bumpers, all that stuff is all painted the same as the Ford. The body color and the bumpers is body color also. The roof, door handles, and the grill are black, and it just looks fantastic. The same wheels, these are these wheels are Iwashima's VXS 210, 19 inch, and they are the same on the Ford, and then I did a little black trim in the middle, just kind of eliminate the chrome, and that's really, that's really the only chrome that's on this truck, is the wheels, so because I didn't want any chrome on this truck. Uh, the trim is actually black. I don't think you can see it, but the trim is black. And it just looks very, very good. Uh, the roof is black, just like the Ford. And it just incredible. This color is so incredible. And one of the color it is, forget, is Alclad Gunmetal. Literally, Alclad Gunmetal. And it looks black for you right now. And, and different lighting. Uh, it looks midnight purple, not lighting, looks like midnight blue. Out in the sun, it has to be out in the sun to look like actual gunmetal. And then in this case, it just looks pitch black for you. So this color is so cool. You really have to be here in person to really admire this color. I mean, this color is just so awesome. If you get a chance, paint the Alcide gunmetal on one of your models. I mean, you're not, you're not going to regret it. This thing, this color is just so cool. So we basically did the pinstripe just like the Ford and everything is, you know, pinstripes are there on the Ford. I want to do something on this one. So a little pinstripe on the back where a uh, wheel, wheel well is, looks fantastic. Now the only major difference is between the two is the interior color. The interior color on the Ford is dark sky gray and light gray. And on the Chevy right here is semi gloss black and dark tan. So that's the only difference, and we did go with the white dice. A lot of people always say the white dice. So, I went with white dice. I kind of want to do white dice anyway because the, the Ford had black ones. So, white ones on this one looks very, very good. And it just breaks up the, you know, because whole interiors are different. Um, The chassis is all aluminum. The whole thing's all aluminum. The engine is all dark steel. So is, so is the dry shaft, so all that looks fantastic. And you know, it's a custom truck, there's hardly any black on this truck, except, you know, the black parts on the body. But it just looks fantastic. The engine, let's go ahead and move, move the hood. The engine is a beautiful engine. You do have a couple options, because you, you do this stock or custom. So you do have two different choices of the radiator. You do have the stock radiator, which you have belts some pulleys fan, or you do have an electric fan in this. So I went ahead and did the electric fan, because it is a custom truck. Uh, different wires, I did um, pulling for the radiator. Red distributors, red distributor wires kind of pick up the color a little bit. And the aftermarket filter from Parts by Parks. And it is 3006, that's the number of the uh, filter. Just in case you're wondering. But yeah, the whole engine bay, very cool. I just how that engine looks. It just looks very good. Um, there's not really much to say, but other than that, the kit went together like a dream. Um, I, I, we did tilt the windows, we did, or windows. We did tent the wheels, the cambered wheels, just like the Ford. So the wheels are also cambered. Uh, hopefully next time my camera goes on focus. What the heck? Oh, there we go, you can see the wheels cambered so it looks very very cool but other than that 
there's not much to say. Overall, this kit is fantastic, and you should pick one up yourself. <laughs> Definitely pick this kit up. Yourself. If you guys never built a Chevy subside like this kit before, um, pick yourself up one. But though they make a few options of this kit to make the um, van version, and they also make a fleet side pickup version, which is basically the same kit but just a different different bed. So pick those kits up. They're all basically the same thing. The cab is you know the glue is all the same. Just a different body and bed, basically between two kits, three kits, I should say. Better than that. Overall, a fantastic build. I'm gonna find a link in the description to the slideshow to my art channel. If you want to see this full slideshow of this build, and then stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna have a slideshow of it in the photo booth, and then I actually got pictures of both of them, both this and the shit and the Ford next to each other. So that will be at the end of the video, also, because these things look very. Very awesome next to each other. But overall, there's not much to say, but overall, incredible kit. This kit is just so cool. The 2K clear looks fantastic. The clear coat looked very good. We did stand out the pivots. We saw my best video. They had pivots in the hood. We did get those sand outs and wet sanded and polished and looking fantastic. So, but overall, incredible. So, like again, guys. Thank you so much for watching this build. Stay tuned to the end of the video. See the slideshow and go to my other channel and check out the full slideshow. And then subscribe if you are new because I do got another awesome build coming up ahead. So stay tuned. But until my next video, guys, catch you guys next time. Bye for now.